And welcome back to the channel, everyone. This is Michael at RBM Crypto. Today's video, I'll be showing you how to safely store your Stellar, your XLM coins in your Tracer Model T using the Exodus desktop wallet. So at the moment, there is no direct support using the Tracer desktop suite for Stellar. So we need to use a third-party wallet, Exodus in this case, to be able to link to our Tracer device to be able to safely store our Stellar coins in our hardware wallet. So let's jump into it. So first things first, you're gonna to need to download the Exodus desktop wallet. I will put a link in the description of this video. That way you can get that set up and create your wallet so you are ready for this tutorial. The next step is you'll need your Tracer device plugged into your computer. And then once it's plugged in, you'll need to unlock it. And once you do so, it will pop up on your Exodus desktop wallet to be able to sync and connect. That way we can begin to store our XLM coins correctly. So you can see here on my screen, I'm currently on the Exodus desktop wallet. I am in my wallet right now. I'm on the XLM page for where I would typically want to store my XLM coins. If you want, this is a solution for being able to store XLM without a hardware wallet as well. You can see here that it does have support for it. You would just go to receive and it would show the wallet address where you would be able to store your XLM coins. So that would be a solution without using a hardware wallet. You can use Exodus to store your XLM. But for today's tutorial, we're gonna go for the extra step of security and have the hardware wallet securing our coins. So at this point right now, I have my hardware wallet right here. It's plugged into my computer. I'm gonna unlock my device. And you can see that once I've unlocked my device, it will now say continue to Tracer wallet. And I'm gonna hit continue. And then at this point now, the Tracer device is going to connect to Exodus. You can see here that's going to ask us for the connection. We will say connect. And now it will begin to pair our Tracer Model T to the desktop suite of Exodus. And now you can see here it's going to ask us to confirm this. This is for watch credentials to be able to see what's going on on the Tracer desktop suite. So we can hit the green check mark for that. And it will continue the pairing process. This could take up to a couple of minutes depending on how many transactions you've had in the past or how many different assets you are holding on your device. So just please be patient. And there you have it. We have successfully paired our Tracer device to the Exodus desktop suite. So now we can hit continue to portfolio. And you can now see that I've added my device. So I have my existing desktop wallet for Exodus, which is just through the desktop wallet. And now we've connected our Tracer device so we can begin storing tokens directly on our Tracer device for the ones that we want to store. So. I'm here on my main wallet for my Tracer device. I'm gonna hit wallet up here. And now you can see that the XLM area here, this wallet is now protected by my hardware wallet. So we have full support to be able to store our XLM coins on our Tracer device. So we can go to receive. And now you can see that we have a different device here or a different address that we can send our Stellar coins to. So what I'm gonna do at this point is I'm gonna copy my address we're gonna head on over to Mandela Exchange where I currently have some XLM coins and I'm gonna withdraw them to this address. Alrighty, and now I'm over on the Mandela Exchange. I currently have a small amount of XLM coins that I wanna withdraw to my Tracer Model T. And I'm gonna initiate that withdrawal process now. So you can see that there's different networks here. You're gonna to wanna to select the Stellar network to make sure that you are on the correct network to withdraw your coins to. And then you will see here there's a recipient address. This is where I wanna paste in my address for my Tracer device. So I'm just gonna paste that in now. And you can see here that in some cases, deposits might require a memo. In our case, there is no memo required for our Tracer device, so we're just gonna select no memo. So always make sure you're on the correct network and make sure that you paste in your address and always double check to see if there is a memo or not. Now I'm just gonna hit maximum amount for the XLM here. And I'm gonna submit withdrawal. And we're gonna head back on over to the Exodus desktop suite to wait for our XLM to arrive in our Tracer device. And now you can see on my screen, I'm back on the Exodus desktop suite where I am linked to my Tracer Model T hardware wallet. You can see right here, we are secured and we are now gonna wait for our XLM coins to arrive from the Mandela Exchange. Okay, and now you can see that our XLM has arrived on our Tracer Model T hardware wallet. It can now be safely stored offline. So at this point, if you want, you can just unplug your device and put it away to have everything safely stored. So what is happening with this process is we are using the Exodus desktop suite to connect to our Tracer Model T. It is being used as an intermediary to be able to link the Tracer to the XLM network. 
Right now, there's no direct support, like I mentioned earlier in the video, through the Trezor Desktop Suite. So we're basically using Exodus instead of the Trezor Desktop Suite. So at this moment in time, if you want, you can unplug your device and your XLM is safely stored. If you want to send it to somewhere else, we're going to show you how to do that right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to head back on over to the Mandela Exchange. I'm going to copy my deposit address, and then we're going to send this XLM back to the exchange. All right, so we're back on Mandela Exchange, and you can see here we're on the deposit page. We're under XLM, Stellar Lumens, and now you can see what I talked about earlier. So when it comes to the deposit, there is a memo now. So make sure that when you are sending your coins, not only do you put in the deposit address that you want to send them to, you also copy down the memo. So I'm going to copy this address and head back on over to Exodus. I'm going to go to Send. I'm going to paste in my address, and then I'm going to head back to the exchange. I'm going to copy down the memo. And I'm going to paste the memo now back in to the deposit area here on my Exodus desktop suite. And I'm going to put the amount that I want to send. So I'll just put, you know, the full amount here. I'll leave some room for gas. And then we will hit send. And now you can see it's going to ask you to confirm the transaction. You're going to hit send. But it will not send until you confirm on your Trezor device. So you can see that your coins are properly secured by your device and not just being stored on the Exodus desktop suite. So now we can go to our device and you can see now it's got a bunch of details there asking you to confirm the transaction. You're just going to swipe up and then you're going to hit the green check mark. You're going to hit the green check mark one more time. And it's going to ask you to confirm the memo and the address. So you're going to hit the green check mark again. And then it's going to ask you to hold and confirm the transaction, which I will do now. And now you can see that the transaction will confirm and it will send. There you have it. Success. So now we've successfully transferred our XLM back to an exchange. You can do this, you know, with any other wallet as well. And that is it for this tutorial. So I've shown you how to properly link your Tracer Model T to the Exodus desktop suite. I've then showed you how to withdraw some XLM from an exchange to your wallet to be safely stored offline. And then we reverse the process to send the XLM back to the exchange. And that's going to be it. If you're enjoying the content that you're seeing on this channel, don't forget to like and subscribe as it helps the channel grow. And we'll see you all on the next video. Thanks and take care.